What is up everybody? It is Monday, which means it is time for photo assignments. And I hope this video makes it up on Monday because I've got a lot of post-production to do. There were a ton of entries over the last few weeks for photo assignment number two, which is low angle photography shooting. And so without further ado, here's your work on photo assignments. I am really proud of you guys for the quality of the work that's being submitted. Now, what you're seeing in this video is really only a fraction of all the work that people turned in. It really is overwhelming at, sometimes, but at the same time, very exciting to me. And so if you didn't make it into the video, please don't get discouraged. Keep trying and I'm trying to rotate a little bit so the same people aren't in all the time. And along those lines, I want to make a suggestion. One of the things that I would like to see more of that I know was a concern of everybody when we started these was getting more interaction going and more conversation going on the preferred social media that you're using. So for instance, if you are into Twitter, I wanna suggest this. Next time you go post a photo assignment, so either this one or photo assignment three or wherever we are in this grand scheme of things, I want to make a suggestion that you try to go through the thread, and I have links in the show description so for your convenience, uh, for the hashtag. Find something you like and leave a comment about it. Leave a random act of kindness. Do something cool. Uh, because I think that's one component that would help this greatly is if we had just a little more interaction, a little more criticism and help going on within what we're doing with photo assignments. So anyway, this was for photo assignment two, which was low angle shooting. It's pretty obvious what's coming up next. We're gonna do eye level shooting and then also high angle shooting where you're looking down. And eye level shooting is probably the easiest of all these because it's the default. It's where most of us shoot 99% of the images that we make. And so what we're trying to do is get to think about these lower angles. So what can we do with eye level that I think would be constructive? And one of the things that I mentioned when I did a video just on the instruction component to low angle shooting is we talked about that perception of depth and where is the horizon line and that three dimension quality represented on a two dimensional space, whether it be a photograph, computer screen, book, what have you. And so what we're gonna really be doing is putting an emphasis on creating depth and what that perception is at eye level. And so that'll be coming up. I'm gonna do a full instructional video on that like I did for low angle. And so that'll be coming out next Monday and then we'll follow that up with high angle shooting as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, and subscribe. There's a train going by outside. Ah, I give up. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, later. <laughs>